So here's a guide on how you have to interface with the TEA data. Uh, I usually just uh, Google Taper, which is the new name for it. It used to be called AEIS, and those are in separate places, actually. Um, for the past three years, it's Taper. Before that, it's AEIS. Um, so you basically go here and data download. Download all the data in Excel, and we have a master reference for all those elements. Um, there are four levels, campus, district, region, and state and each one has these 22 tables for every year. So if you want to download those, you click that, continue, and download, and it will start downloading that file for you. Um, and again, there's 22 of them, student, staff, campus reference, those types of things. Um, and it takes a while to download each one. Um, but once you do, you get a file like this, which is the student information table. And it comes in it's kind of cryptic format. It takes a while to open too. And so you've got your campus numbers and then these fields here. Um, every campus in the state um, with these field names which is how you interface with those is this table right here. And so this is kind of a key file, but it's not even a file, it's just on a web page. So you can't, it's not machine readable, you can't really program it. So what I had to do was scrape it and put it in a spreadsheet format to be able to um, key by those, by those field names. Um, and so if you want to do, you know, if you wanted to know how, what the econ disk for a certain campus is and compare that to say staff information, you also have to download the staff table and then look at the reference file to know what the campus name is, and I'll open that reference file right here. And so you have to look up that campus number to find out the campus name and the district, if it's, uh, you know, what grade span it is, what district it's in. And so if you want to compare district to state to campus, you know, you have to download, you know, and staff and student information, you have to download six different files and basically have open um, two tabs for campus and then the same ones open for district and state so you have to have six tabs open to be able to kind of cross-reference all of this information um, and download all those six files. Um, so it's quite a process that you know this was why the dashboard was created initially because if every nonprofit and, and district and these types of people in the state are using this system, it's quite inefficient. Um, it's a little bit easier if you just do it campus to campus, where you can go say Woodrow and search and find that and then view the report. Uh, but this is the format it comes in, which isn't exactly um, easy to use. And again, it's not machine readable. So if you want to put this in a spreadsheet, it's not. Doable. You just have to print this out, and then if you want to compare, you know, ten districts or campuses to each other, you have to go through one by one, um, download them all, print them all, and then if you wanted to compare, you know, say one certain variable to another, you basically just have to lay these out on the floor and <laughs> kind of manually key all of these. Um, and so that's that's kind of a general overview of what you have to do with um, all of the taper data. There's also a glossary as well, which is not uh, machine readable either. Let's see, where is that? Um, that's in a PDF too, which kind of deep, more deeply explains what these variables mean. So it kind of gives you an equation for how they come about, say, average size. Um, so, you know, we've sort of tried to make this quite a bit more user friendly where you can download the data um, all for a campus in a spreadsheet form or in an image form and same with where you can download specific information just from a certain chart and you know we're also going to be putting comparisons in there um, so you can look at state versus district versus campus but also campus versus campus and that's sort of um, one of the next things that we'll be getting into and that's it